All right, guys. Chapter 14: Savings and Loans. Chase, I'm going to Blackwell Tower. I need you to go to my building in Auburn Docks. Okay. What am I doing? I just said you're going to my building in Auburn Docks. And when I get there, I have working prototypes of the magic bubble machine. This is actually there. a fairly short level. What are you gonna be do? Very with surprised. I'm going to invert the polarity of the neutron. That, uh, I'm going to tell the mystical pixies that live inside there. I'm not an idiot, Professor. Are you gonna use the magic bubble to contain the rocket's exhaust? Yes, exactly. And what if you can't? Uh, then I'm going to get a very good tan. All right, so we gotta take the helicopter. And, um, go to Auburn Dock, Dock, which is where the professor is. So before we get off there, I found all these goodies. First up, you go up here, you will find a super brick. That's what's up. If you keep going down, you'll find quite a few doors we can now open because we have, uh, Cost them already. Bust them open. Another super brick. Oh yeah. And there's another door. And if we break this open, you're gonna find the uh, paint cannon. You can use that uh, particularly for the wall over straight ahead to the left right there. This is all useless stuff. So then go to the thing itself. Here's Honey I'm about to tell us what we gotta hey, do next. Chase! Frank! Who else would they trust with such an important this trusty mission? steed? Literally anyone. The one he fed <laughs> apples to its butt. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so right away we can open the door. But now, before we go in, there's actually some stuff on the right that you could miss. And right here, there's another fire, uh, fighter gate. Get some money there. You're gonna find yourself another nice super brick, and then you can also use the, uh, paint gun and shoot down this box of apples. Make it red. Now go in here. And you're gonna have to race to get to uh, the rocket on, shuttle that's launching. To stop it. Chase, or to attempt although it. Although it was impossible to get into Blackwell Tower, I've managed to hack into their launch computer and slow it down slightly. You don't have long, though. Don't worry, I'm at your laboratory. Good. Then drive the shield prototypes here as fast as you can. And drive carefully. Okay. I could definitely do one of those things. Now, sadly, I couldn't click that button in the back that you saw because we're in a story mode thing right now, so I wasn't allowed to get out of the car or else it restarts. Just so stupid. So, yeah, we gotta go to Blackwell's uh, Drive to the marker. rocket ship. It will automatically position one of the magic bubble machines for you. I should probably have mentioned they're in self-assembly kit form, so you will need to build them. I'm too busy slowing the countdown. All right, so there's four corners to this, and they have to like, uh, they have all these parts that need to be rebuilt by me. You have to beat a bunch of enemies, and then you get to uh, build them. I just skipped all the enemies because it's very tiresome and annoying to keep all that. They're very boring, they're just the basic Blackwell black suit enemies. One more. And we're good to go! Woo! So now the tower still launches off. The animation is just remarkable. Lego put so much thought into it, it's absurd. We've evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain. Me too. 
There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is going to be burning. So basically, at those dome things are going to keep us from that getting uh, burned mine. from 3,000 degrees of heat from jacket. the flame. How long do we'll we be have, protected Professor? Because um, we couldn't stop them. About minus three seconds. It's pretty neat. Chase, when I hacked into the computers, I saw that Natalia was on board. What? That was good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today. At first, when I saw this, I thought the chief was gonna make like a speech where he's like the actual villain or something, or like they were all in on it. But I was overthinking that like crazy. He's just giving him props. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed, name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Not a car, honey. But we love you anyway. Mwah. Chapter 15, Far Above, and the Call of Duty. I get, bet you didn't see that coming. Chapter 15 and 14 are going to be in this video. I didn't even know it, Professor so I couldn't Kowalski? stop the video recording thing at I'm the going time. To get so you, you got stuck with two. Thank you, Chase. Is there anything My bad. I can do to help you? Uh, I guess it'd be useful if I knew how to fly a shuttle. Can you give me a crash course so I don't, uh, crash? No need. The engineers at Apollo Island will fly it by remote control. What about Blackwell's one? I'll have to get it back to Lego City. Oh, you can cross that bridge if you come to it. If? Uh, sorry, when? I meant when. This way, sir. So talk We're to this guard. Right She's gonna let you right on in. She's been expecting us. And just go to the uh, moon roller thing or whatever. And take it all the way to where you need to go, and then you climb up the ladder, and you're gonna find the rocket shuttle that you can build. You need to have 50,000, which should be plenty. I've given you plenty of super brick guides throughout my level walkthroughs at the moment. Should be good. Beautiful looking rocket. Collect some good money. We just unlocked the spaceman. That's what's up. Nice. So now you gotta go all the way to the top to get in to the shuttle. But before that, we're gonna mess around and see uh, all the awesome treasures that are around the rocket ship. So we're gonna take the ladder first. Use the grappling hook up above to get you up here. Then you gotta use your jetpack thing, or your chicken thing, I guess you can do whatever. I like the jetpack person more. It's a bit more, uh, fun. Then you're gonna go up here, open the astronaut box. And it's gonna send us a nice little super brick. So we can't get it through there, so we gotta go through this pole. You can even ignore it if you wanted to, like I just did. Slide under there, obtain your super brick, well earned. Go up here, get on the balance thing, you're good to go. And we're gonna find yet another super brick. What I'm gonna have you do is you go underneath that, jump, use your jetpack. Use your crowbar to get in here. So you're gonna have another super brick, you're welcome. Dude, we're just killing it, man. We just made 50k right... No, we made 10k right there. So we're already past if you needed to get the rocket shell. Now you gotta go all the way to the right. Use the pad. Get another super brick. Like, they're everywhere. It's awesome. And then there's one more still. Go up here. Um, and climb the pole. And there's your last super brick before you get into the shuttle. You're welcome. Chase, it's awesome. I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9. This is pretty fun. <laughs> He's sipping a coffee, waiting. And they tell you why they do it. In case the astronauts change their mind. 
in case the astronaut gets cold feet, they can't leave because they trick them before the countdown fully commences. Hey, what do you know? In space, and we're up in the air already, in unrealistically. Well done! You are in it is a game. Space. Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? And apparently the moon's only 10 seconds away, which is nice. Small, but don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your space walk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> so we get off that. And now we're gonna go to the base. But there's a force field there, so we can't get in. Or can we? Convenient. We sure can. We find a random door just chilling. So now we're in the base. It's a pretty neat level, I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot. So destroy four of those and you'll get a piece of the badge. Build that and you got your elevator. You're gonna, you're gonna click the button and activate it and climb the pole because this pink gun won't work until you fix the electrical box. Fix that, then the paint gun works, and then you can unlock a special character, which is really awesome. You'll see me actually play as him in the very end of this footage, kid you not. All will be revealed in good time. Hit the green button, turn it red, get your collectible, which is a random astronaut. So now you're going to go on the right, take the jetpack thing. Fight off the bad guys here, you're gonna get across the bridge once you can, and then go up there. He's gonna die, poor guy. Fight them! Now you gotta use your jetpack to get across. Click the button, take him off, take a hike, friend, there we go, up we go. Blow up this to get the dynamite. Two out of four. Use your dynamite now. Blow up this fancy door. And then you gotta use your jackhammer. And it just finds us huge geyser of water. It's weird. It's just the moon has water, I guess. Interesting. So now you're gonna go straight in here. I kinda went a little ahead of myself. This is actually kinda the second thing you should be doing, but it's good to get it out of the way regardless. It won't hurt you. So go all the way up, break open the crowbar door, smash all the electric electronics in here if you're feeling it you get some decent cash and then pull down the lever it took me forever to figure out what that was that is a button that you need to have a special vehicle to touch so now go all the way back go to the right and now break the last one get a piece of the badge break that get your astronaut box get some good money So now use the code, blue, green, red, yellow. And then while that's dropping that off, break that and then build the last few pieces. You're going to get a paint gun, use it, open the door. And then there's going to be a crate of extra goodies, so take it over, dump it in, build it. And you're going to build yourself a nice moon rover. Very exciting. Now go in it. Let's go in it, there we go. Now you got to click the button. Take it over the bridge now, and then 
you gotta get out and click both uh, buttons here with the paint gun so you can unlock an area for the moon roller to actually go in so you gotta take it with you in you go and now we can ride this on the yellow button and that will activate the bridge that's its whole purpose it took me like 15 minutes to figure out what I was supposed to do with it I had to edit all of it out it was a nightmare so now we're going here for a nice surprise First, fix the electrical box here. Good to go. Now we're gonna have to find a paint gun to use that for. Open two safes up you need to find. One on this side, the other on the other side, and you'll get a piece of the metal. Use the paint gun. Shoot it. And you free the robot soldier. That's going to be important to go in there. But first, I want you to go to the opposite side, and you're going to find the second safe I told you about. Be alert and click A when it says so, and don't be like Dan and miss it. Beautiful. Next piece of the badge. Now go in the robot suit, and go over to the little control panel. And I fast forwarded this. Just copy this exact model, Lego City and get the power going. And you can even pause it on YouTube or whatever if you didn't get to see it. That'll help you too. Four, three. I hope you're strapped in safely. One. to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. He's so full of himself. Oh my goodness. goodness. Blackwell, but you go crazy. Crazy? Your monument uh, was nothing yeah, just more a little. Than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around. Sorry. <laughs> We're locked in. Bring her over here. Chase. That's There's my honey Black cakes. Well, mm. a lady. Oh, Love you, no, Natalia. No. I would never hurt a lady. Take you I out on a date, baby, when we're done. Get I mean, again. And there's our man himself, Rex Fury. <laughs> wow. This is a cool battle. Very confusing because of the lack of guidance on how to actually do it. But that's the Tyrannosaurus Rex we stole. He had it modified to turn into a machine kind of T-Rex, and it's freaking cool. do ya? Like, that was brilliant to incorporate it like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up these barrels, aim it, and fire it at Rex's T-Rex. took me a long time to figure this out. And you're going to go over, hit A, and then you're going to fight him. you got to beat him by clicking A constantly. Smash him on the ground. Then you're going to go over this control panel in the middle. And then you're going to keep hitting A as you swing him round and round and round like a merry-go-round. It's pretty amusing. And when you let go, it just instantly targets where it's gonna go and it smashes into those canisters, which uh, Blackwell needs. This is honestly it, just like Be the Mario 64 battle. If you ever like played that or lived, you would know what I'm talking about. It's where um, you have to swing Bowser's tail around into a bomb. Kind of the same concept, but it's automatic now, so you don't have to mess up and miss lots of times. So the same thing, you're gonna do this three times. And Rex's attacks get different every time. He does a roar one, then he does a stomp one. But they're fairly easy. The boss is really simple. Very amusing, though. Yow, and they just aim it perfectly for you, which you is great. Useless, Rex. This way, Kowalski. And well, Blackwell you know leaves, because he's getting furious with Rex. Some good boss he is. Boom. 
take the T-Rex again. <laughs> Slam him on the ground. And then we're gonna throw him one last time into the last canister. So now he's finished for now. And chase your fride. <laughs> it was an almost ride. Chase, he's huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. So now we're all gonna die. This is pretty nifty. So, you gotta destroy three of these astronaut boxes, you'll get a piece of the metal. There's two of them. As you start going through the world, the pieces of the craft just start ripping apart. There's the third one. Now you gotta beat all the baddies, and once you beat them all, then you're gonna see the real surprise. Big, big twist in my opinion. Yes, besides that, all flying off to God knows where. Look who comes up. Rex Fury is the okay? final boss regardless yeah. of Blackwell. That was a Not twist. Okay. And it took Are me forever to figure out how to We're beat him, because there's no sense of guidance whatsoever again. That's the only thing I have to complain about with this, is that some of these levels and boss battles, terrible oh, guidance. Worry, worry. You have to figure out so much in your room. So what you gotta do is you gotta throw one of the guards at Rex's shield, break it, he falls down, and then you go into him like I did. He punches you off and you die instantly, which is fun. Um, yeah, so basically you gotta wait for Rex to throw the first punch, and then you hit him. Or no, yeah, you kinda like push him. Then you gotta break the shield again. And then you just gotta keep, keep taking out these annoying minions. Wait for Rex to make the first move again, keep beating him up. It's honestly the same thing over and over. As the uh, environment starts to get more deteriorated. Pick him up, throw him. And I'll just wait for the last hit, and you'll be golden. I think this is the best one, watch this. And then guess what you get to do? You get to cuff Rex Fury. How cool is that? We've all been waiting for this. And then he somehow breaks out of it. And Blackwell's now leaving like a coward. So maybe they'll have a sequel. I don't know. Phew. Alright, so now we're free falling. Go through all these rings of money and eventually you're gonna find Rex Fury all the way to the right. Make sure you get that. Because you'll need Rex. And you'll see later. I mean, I don't think I show it in this video, but you'll see no good, why. Dad. We can't reach the parachute but basically, place. all those uh, little rings of money you Excuse saw, me. collect all Can that and you'll instantly up. get all Chase, of the uh, studs needed this for the Lego bar to okay. get Lego Hero or whatever. What is it? It's awesome. Because I didn't really uh, do that well. I had like less than half. And I got them all because of that ending. It's great. So don't stress over it. Professor Kowalski's on his way. And the enjoy. The command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. God bless, honey. He's such an adorable guy. This is pretty funny. Mind if I park here? There he is. Oh, oh, there they are! <laughs> Congratulations. You've done it again, Chase. Almost. Blackwell got away in an escape pod, and Rex, well, he got away too, I bet. Rex! <laughs> Rex isn't a problem. Oh? He crashed headfirst through someone's roof ten minutes ago. Get this off of me! <laughs> so we're gonna chain him back up <laughs> hey, where Rex, he belongs. You don't look very flushed with success. 
I, uh... Ah, uh, I thought you should get the arrest this time. You know what? You can have it, Chief. Some things are more important than work. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about video games, right? <laughs> it's weird how they don't kiss. And then there's the last Sentinel. This is hilarious. You remember Blackwell's men? One of them was on the tricycle. That, oh, I thought that was so great how they just threw that randomly in there. So now we got free play, baby. I think we got three pieces. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Nice. And we got that, so that means two yellow gold bricks. And here's the credits. I kind of am going to skip it because they're long. You can skip it whenever. So I finished the game with almost 20%. Not bad. Then they give you this cool little uh, outro of the company that made it. They really deserve a, a thumbs up or like a applause or something. This game is just brilliant. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but for Legos and like kid versions. It's great. Alright, so now we're back in the uh, police station. So you can go all the way over here. Activate the dynamite all the way to the right. You will see there is a little uh, so until we thing find right the there. Camera, you put it in. Take mug shots by photocopying people's faces. Right well, there, okay. a gold brick just waiting for us. Go in the elevator. Now go uh, to the basement. Now this was really cool. What happened was this is what um this is how like all the skies is. Oh, wow happen and now stuff is like disguise. um you see when I unlock people in the game you have to buy the them in that store and it's Although really cool you unlock them in the store but you don't get to buy them per se until now so now you go to the basement and go in this little costume room and you can literally change one I of every single yeah. um uh what? job I got another gold brick as a Chase McCain disco guy but he's still a cop you can change all these different cops. And same with the vehicles. You buy vehicles. There's another gold brick. You open this up. You get another gold brick. I'm now Rex Fury. Which is the new criminal. Instead of Chase McCain is the criminal. That's what's so cool about this free play thing. I'm sorry. That wasn't a gold brick. My bad. But now you're going to activate the uh, elevator. And then to the left... First, you gotta use the uh, construction worker. I have a new construction worker guy too, not Chase McCain, because I unlocked one in the game. If you go over to the left, you can get another gold brick. Go in here, you can actually buy gold bricks, which is really nifty. And then over here, you can actually buy red bricks. I bought like six times studs, and um, you get bricks now like magnetized to you, so they like attract you it's really awesome and then I am now using the fire uh, fi fighter guy all the way to the left get another gold brick now go to the basement and then choose to go to the uh, briefing room or whatever get popcorn you get another gold brick they're just everywhere it's insane break this open with Rex Fury Now you're going to find um, a little crate, bring it over, build it, and you have my permission to now break it all, and you will see why in a second. Do it up, Rex. Nice. Because you get another gold brick, that's why. There's so many, it's absurd. And then you can play the movies... I didn't unlock any, sadly. I gotta figure out how to do that. But you can see it on your gamepad. Now, if you go down here, 
in the uh, basement again, all the way to the left, you can uh, unlock the customizable mode. So Chase McCain's guys, you can actually customize from eyes to body to sunglasses to pants. I didn't do all of it because I want you to see it and I didn't really feel like it. Break through all this and break through that box over there and get your last gold brick for the day. And when we return, we're going to start doing 100% unlockables. So get ready, guys. Take care and peace. God bless.